Hey there! My name is Rabia, and today we'll be looking at some incredible facts, contributions, and achievements of Islamic scholars. I bet you didn't know just how their contributions to science, technology, and medicine have helped to shape the world as we know it today. In today's episode, we will look at the life and works of Abu Musa Jabir ibn Hayyan. Ready? Let's go! Abu Musa Jibr ibn Hayyan was a Muslim polymath. He wrote many books which cover a diverse range of topics including numerology, astrology, and medicine. Jabir ibn Hayyan was born in 721 in Iran. At a young age, his father died and his family took refuge in Yemen. There, he was taught mathematics, the Quran, and several other subjects by a reputed scholar, Harbi al-Himyari. He later studied alchemy and medicine under the caliphate's ministers. After he completed his studies, he began working as a pharmacist. He wrote an alchemical handbook called the Book of Blossom. The book contained information and instructions about experimental techniques relating to alchemy. Jabir also translated many Latin and Greek alchemical transcripts into Arabic. All the work he has written, put together, is known as a Jabirian corpus. He has been given the title of the father of chemistry for his contribution to the field of chemistry. Jabir ibn Hayyan prepared chemicals, discovered many acids, and prepared as well as improved many chemical processes. He introduced chemical techniques to the field of chemistry. He discovered some of the most commonly used acids in chemistry, including hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. He discovered chemical procedures as significant as distillation and crystallization. Jabir ibn Hayyan had divided substances into three different classes. This was the basis of modern-day classification of metals and non-metals. Around 3,000 books are attributed to the name of Jabir ibn Hayyan. The topics are diverse in nature, ranging from music all the way to astrology. His research has been translated into many European languages and has been used in Western educational institutions for centuries. Jabir ibn Hayyan died in the year 803, at the age of 82 in Kufa, Iraq. He was considered to be one of the most learned people of his time, and his work was cherished for centuries to come. To this day, he is considered to be the father of chemistry. I bet you didn't know a lot of these facts. Did you? Which fact surprised you the most? Would you like to add something to this list of findings? We'd love to hear from you. Remember to stay subscribed to Toffee TV. Thanks for watching. There's always something new at Toffee TV. Like and share tons of videos. Subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell.